back in February, where he lost to Adrian Lewis. And his best showing on the Players' Championship has been a semi-final in Crawley last month. To Ronnie will throw first in the month. And, first like Ronnie to throw first, game on. And he's probably the player who will have felt a little bit miffed to have been missed out 85. on the Premier League 10 players for 2014 former competitor in the Premier League of course yeah tough customer doesn't usually give you an easy win does Hammer if you're going to beat him you've got to throw some decent stuff so Ronnie's got a job on his hands but he has beaten him before albeit just three times in the 11 meetings they've had and he got a hiding in the match play last year beaten 10-1 by Hamilton that was uh, on a night where Wes Newton I believe was beaten as well it wasn't a wasn't a great night for fans of darts players in the northwest playing in pretty much their home tournament of Blackpool And uh, Andy Hamilton yet to win a game on the European Tour this season. He's taken part in two of the three events so far. And exiting at the first hurdle in both Hildesheim and Berlin. 43. Yeah, probably due a little run then. Sporting a slightly longer beard than I've seen on the hammer. I'm not sure if that's a conscious decision or he's just not got round to having a shave. Maybe he's trying to uh, rival Simon Whitlock. <laughs> that, that is a long-term project. I quite like, did quite like the uh, the coloured beard and the the coloured hair tint that uh, himself and uh, Paul Nicholson were displaying at the World Cup of Darts. But here's Ronnie then. Won't happen now, so we'll look to... Um, Leave a decent finish. 50. Well, probably would hope to have uh, knocked a bit more off that, but he has got around 80 to come back and take the first leg. Yeah, Simon Whitlock in action against uh, Big John Henderson this evening. That's our penultimate match 57. on stage. Sir Baxter, he's going to get two darts at double ten. Not a great guide for him. Doesn't matter. Finds the target. And Ronnie Baxter holds his throw and takes a 1-0 lead. The hammer can be a bit of a slow starter on occasion. You often see him sort of blowing on his fingers, trying to warm them up, trying to get acclimatised to being on stage. Doesn't seem to be an issue here. It's a quite a temperate climate up on stage as well. But he, in these short format games, it's very difficult to go a little way behind and come back. Yes, yeah, feeling quite humid outside the Salzburg Arena today. The sun trying to break, break through. 32. Absolutely horrible start to the day yesterday. Chucked it down with rain all morning here. And we're hoping for plenty of sunshine next weekend as the European Tour makes its stop off in Gibraltar. Ninety-nine. Well, Ronnie has stolen the darts in this leg. Just keeps been a little bit low, consistently low on his target. He can just address that first dart. He may find it a lot easier. That's a great dart for Hammer, right where he wants it in the bed. Can't follow it up with his second. It looks like he's switching down the board and does so, but to no great effect. Ronnie's still with the upper hand here. Again, low below that treble 20. Forty. 
Well, a good opportunity then for the hammer to immediately bounce back to make it 1-1. Another one of those would be handy. Well, just uh, I thought the second one was in the treble, but just 60 then. The hammer has to settle for. It's a bit better for Ronnie, and look, that, now that he's high, he's able to work his way down. Only gets one in the treble, but it does get him to a finish. Hammer will be looking for a ton 40 to leave him double 16. Anything less than that, well, he might be in a bit of trouble. Might be in a lot of trouble. Well, it almost threw that last one away, and that's the one that found the target. Frustration from the Hammer, and Ronnie Baxter's looking at 105. Well, it's not going to happen now, but he's set it up very nicely. And you require 104. Oh, well, he needs to take this out for a 21 dart leg. He's going to get a shot. And it's a double 16. To get his first leg on the board. There it is, Andy Hamilton. His highest score in that leg was 99 until his final one with 104. Yes, it wasn't pretty for me, the player, that leg, but got the job uh, done. 99. And Ronnie Baxter saw off Mark Webster in yesterday's first round. Now coming up against the number 15 seed here. We saw Ronnie go on a fantastic run on the first European Tour event in Hildesheim, Germany. He swept all the side until the semi-finals where he came up against Gary Anderson, who himself was on fantastic form and went on to win the event. But he played some cracking stuff, some of the best darts we've seen Ronnie play for a good couple of years uh, on stage there. Yeah, beat Barney, Mervyn King, Jamie Caven, Dimitri Vandenberg. Good little run, that is as Andy Hamilton fires in the first maximum of the match. Maybe he's just warming up now. Yeah, it's Gary Anderson who could await the winner of this one. It's uh, Anderson or the pie man, Andy Smith. And here we go. Oh, Andy Hamilton's arrived. Back-to-back -back 180s for Andy the Hammer Hamilton. Potential 11 data and a break of throw coming in here. Well, you did say he can sometimes take a little while to warm up. <laughs> 94. And you require 44. Still got to finish the job here, though. Double 16 he wants. He took it out in the last leg with his first dart. Does it here as well. And when Andy Hamilton's on form, that double 16 takes an absolute pounding. Saw it time and time again in the Premier League. He'd find that little green bit in the bottom left of the board. Hit it repeatedly under pressure, often with only one dart at it. 100. And an early break of throw for the hammer 44. can he push on and seize the initiative against the 53 year old from Blackpool Strong leg of darts, this from Andy Hamilton. Ton, ton, ton 40 on his own throw. Down to a finish after three visits. And Ronnie needs a maximum to get to a finish himself, and he might just get there. He is, you know. First maximum of the match for Ronnie Baxter. And what a time to do it.
Well, well, well. It's all turned around in this leg. Well, he'd be disappointed with that, but he should get a dart at a double if Hamilton can't take out this 110. This isn't easy. That's made it a lot easier. He's hit double 16 with his first dart in the last two legs. But he doesn't now. And Ronnie Baxter has the opportunity to break back. So another one of those. We'll leave double top if he can sneak it in past that second dart and it maybe just have been a bit too close to the double. Over pitched it. And a let off you have to say for Hamilton. Looking at double 16 for a 3-1 lead. So a bit of daylight now. Andy Hamilton. Bit of a let off in that leg perhaps. But he got there, got the job done. And we have a two-leg gap for the first time in the match. And with Ronnie over kicking off with 60, the hammer has an opportunity here, and that is bang in the middle of the treble 19. No surprise that he followed it. Yes, good cover on the 19s there from the hammer. 81. Our next match we'll see the number 16 seed Wes Newton take on the German chef Bernard Reuth. Who came through the European qualifiers and then beat Salman Reignan of the Netherlands yesterday 6-1 quite comprehensively. Smoked him, the Salmon. <laughs> These guys, Baxter and Hamilton in the top half of the draw so MVG's withdrawal doesn't affect them not until they get to the final at least and just a reminder we will be hearing a few words from Michael Van Gerwen he's recorded a little video message which we're going to be playing out at the end of this game just apologising to his fans for having to miss out here this weekend the number one seed with a, a recurrence of uh, the ankle injury that gave him problems a couple of months back. We're assuming it's apology. He could tell him all to do one. <laughs> I think it's unlikely, being the courteous young gentleman that he is. Yes, he was due to play Dean Winstanley later this evening. Winstanley now has a bye through to the third round, so he can put his feet up and relax today. Oh, bullseye for Baxter. Well, they don't come any bigger. Is Andy Hamilton going to raise the roof here at the Salzburg Arena? Not just now he's not. But there could be a bit of pressure here. He may go for the bullseye. He does, so that'll leave him 65. So there's pressure on this running back still. He needs this to hold his throat. Two darts, a double 16. Double eight now. And there it is. There it is. Ronnie Baxter reduces the arrears. Yes, an important double to hit for Baxter just to hang on in there against this man. Oh, everywhere but the red bit for Andy Hamilton there. That's where he wants it. That's lovely stuff from Ronnie Baxter. Fantastic work from Ronnie Baxter. 180 number two for him. And you can see there, there's not a lot between them. But Ronnie Baxter just edging it on the averages. Oh, that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic double success percentage from Hammer. Seventy-five percent 
It's very good indeed in, by anyone's standard. But Ronnie's wrestled the advantage from his opponent in this leg. And he's looking to press that home. 99. He needs a break of throw, remember. And he's putting himself in a very strong position to get it. Well, the trebles are just drying up. He's managed to get one on his third dart there again with the hammer. Throwing it a lot quicker than usual. His last dart almost throwing it away, but he finds a target. And Ronnie Baxter could take this out. Ooh. Well, didn't miss that treble 18 by much. 96, under your bar, 149. So he'll look to set up a decent finish if he gets the chance with Baxter here 89. poised Ronnie, on 68, a potential 14 data coming in from Baxter. Oh, he's had a mare there. He's missed the big number twice. Well, Ronnie Baxter, that is sloppy darts at a crucial moment of the game. Went for the 20, hit the 5. Went for the 13, hit the 6. And Andy Hamilton, he's got to move across the hockey just so he doesn't hit. That's an awkward looking dart for him as he goes for double top. But he gets it in there. And look how much that means to him. He knows how big a moment that was. Ronnie Baxter should have had at least one dart of the bullseye to level the match up there and get that breaker throw he needs back. As it is, Andy Hamilton has got away with it a bit there. Baxter was standing at the back of the stage. Couldn't believe what a mess he had made of what turned out to be his last shot of that sixth leg. And Hamilton said, thank you very much, Ronnie. I'll have that. And finds himself now 4-2 up. Yeah, missing the big number once is sloppy. Missing it a second time is criminal. 100. A solid turn means it's neck and neck in this one. Ronnie has to win four of the next five legs. Otherwise, he's going home. And if his return journey is anything like the one he came here, where he spent five hours in Frankfurt Airport on his own, waiting for a transfer. <laughs> dear, dear. I don't even know what you do to pass five <laughs> hours at Frankfurt Airport. 100. I would imagine... It's going to be even worse if he loses this match. And he's got five hours to sit there and blame himself about missing the big number a couple of times in that previous leg. 97. Who was that bloke who lived in an airport? They made a film out of it. I know Tom Hanks was in the film. That was it, yeah. Tom Hanks was in it. <laughs> Must have started to feel like that, going a bit stir-crazy. If they make a Hollywood film with Tom Hanks playing Ronnie Baxter, I would watch it. <laughs> Well, Ronnie Baxter is under severe pressure here. He's not going to take the 160 out, so Andy Hamilton could take a 5-2 lead and he'd be throwing for the match in the next leg. You would think he's going to get at least one dart. His finishing's been good so far as Andy. He's only going to get one dart, and it's at double top for a 5-2 lead. Ooh, just shy of it. Ronnie, you require 100. But this is no gimme for Ronnie Baxter. He can do it in two dots. He may end up having to go tops, tops if he doesn't hit the trouble with the first. Is it a tops, tops? It is. And it's there. Superb stuff. Double, double Ronnie finish Baxter. from the rocket. Ronnie Baxter keeps him in this one. That was as cool as a cucumber from Baxter there. And it's one the fans like to see as well. Tops, tops. 134. Well, standing now, you can hit two double tops consecutively when you couldn't hit a fat 13 in the previous leg. But such are the vagaries of the noble sport of darts. And he started off with a ton 40 here to keep pace with Andy Hamilton. 
this game is still on a knife edge our first rendition of the weekend of stand up if you love the darts great crowd in here and that's sure to build through the day as we get into the evening session and that's what they come to see and then a packed house as well tomorrow as we bring you the third round and then the quarterfinals, the semi-final and the final all tomorrow. Well, visits of 39 and 38 from the Hammer in his last two trips to the board. It's a bit of a nightmare leg for him. And Ronnie is absolutely flying. Oh, fantastic. 180 followed by 165. He's on a potential 10 darter here for a break of throw and to suddenly well he'd be favourite for the match if he takes this out after coming so close to going 5-2 down yes he's found a little spurt of energy from somewhere but he needs this double 16 double 8 now sorry double 4 and we are all square at 4 apiece Well, well, well. From the jaws of defeat, Ronnie Baxter has grasped the chance. But 66. Well, it may not be enough. What has the hammer got? Well, he's got a wild one to start. You can see the average is level at 90 apiece. Baxter has outscored the hammer. Their level will be gone by virtue of, of Hammers finishing. 98. You see that. He's hitting two out of every three darts. He goes for a double out, Andy Hamilton. If he just hit one more, he'd have gone 5-2 up. Missing that double top. But that's right where he wants it. No surprise the second one's there. Will it be a third? One out. I think some in the crowd thought it was for a moment. The probably about 1,200 we've got in the Salzburg Arena at the moment. There may be a couple more hundred to come for this evening session. Baxter in the lead in this leg. But Hammer ready to pounce. Just deflected out of the treble 20, that one. Comes across for the 18s. Can't find the treble. And yes, the fans here in Austria will have another of their local guys to cheer on tonight. Roby John Rodriguez taking on Robert Thornton. We've already seen Mensur Sulevich take out Ian White, the number 10 seed. And the fans really got behind Mensur. And that impressive win against Ian White. Yeah, cracking match that one. Well, now then, Ronnie that is a big 154. visit for Andy Hamilton. Ronnie Baxter may have to take out 151. He's not going to. Is he going to surrender that break of throw that he worked so hard to get with that brilliant 12-dart leg in the last leg to level the match up? Andy Hamilton. I think he'll look at treble 18 here. Well, he's only going to get one dart. He's been hitting... His target more often than not. He's missed inside. Once again, with one dart in his hand, Andy Hamilton has failed to find the double and Ronnie Baxter to take the lead in this match. For the first time since the first leg, Ronnie Baxter goes into a one-leg lead. Yes, needing just one more for victory. And he knows even if... And he wins this leg. He will have the throw in the 11th and deciding leg. If it were to go that far. Well, the Hammers had a dart to win the last two legs. He'll be thinking, I could have won this game by now. As it is, he is very much second favourite. Got to win the next two. This one on his own throw. The next one on Baxter's. He's got a healthy advantage in this leg.
And there you can see, it's good from Andy Hamilton. It, four out of seven is good stats. But the last two times, he's failed to hit his double. 140. With just the 60 off, it gets him down to a finish. Ronnie needs a, a ton 40 minimum to get down to a finish himself. He might just get it, you know. Ooh, doesn't manage to stay straight. So six dots, at least, for Andy Hamilton to get down from here and take us to a deciding leg. We saw Steve Beaton just about get over the line against Andrew Gilding in a deciding leg in the last match. Edging his way down. Yes, it looks like we are heading for another 11th and deciding leg, folks. Oh. All over the shop there from Ronnie Baxter. Andy Hamilton can take his time. Pipe and slippers job this. But he's trying to finish it quickly. And he does so excellently. A 14-dart leg. We are into a decider. Ronnie Baxter has the throw. But will that 14 data from Andy Hamilton give him some momentum that he can take through to finish the job? Or has Ronnie been playing possum? Oh, uh, what a start! 177 from Ronnie Baxter, just when he needed it. Fantastic stuff. And this is what we know that Ronnie Baxter can do. And why he's been... 100. A major finalist five times in his career. Eighty-five. Well, the hammer's got work to do here. Good start. Good second dart. What a response from the hammer! Deciding leg, both of these guys have hit three trebles in a visit. They are going toe to toe here as they fight it out for a place in the third round and that's brilliant stuff from Baxter as well. He's down to a finish. Hammer should get down to one himself but what finish is it going to be? Yes, they're finishing with a flourish, these two. 83. Ronnie, you require 100. It will be a shame for whichever one ends up having to go home after this display. 42. Oh, it's a mess, it's Andy a mess for Ronnie Baxter, but Andy Hamilton's last start there has robbed him of a shot at the ball with only hitting one treble. He's got the Della. One that Keith Della took out to win the World Championship. Andy Hamilton isn't going to take this out. But he's knocked 80 off there. Well, he has set it up beautifully. Ronnie, Ronnie Baxter. Well, how many dots is he going to get here? He may only get one. And it's a double top for the match. And there it is. He only had one dart at it. But Ronnie Baxter...